Joe Biden's big interview with George Stephanopoulos on Friday, which is supposed to try to turn things around from this horrible debate and all the gaffes that he's having. Apparently, they've cut this big interview down to only 15 minutes. And now people are coming out, including people close to him and his staff, and they're saying, this is not even gonna happen. This is being canceled. What is happening and what is going on? Guys, make sure and subscribe. I'm gonna keep you up to date with all of this. If you like videos like this, give me a like, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. But I wanna go ahead and jump into this because this is just too amazing. I also just wanna say, I do think it's interesting because it seems like every time he steps out, in public, when it comes to interviews, when it comes to debates, everyone, all the media, everything is trying to put everything in his favor. The question is, is it even going to matter? Take a look at this information and then we're going to discuss. And the headline reads from the Daily Beast, Biden's interview with Stephanopoulos could be over in just 15 minutes. Joe Biden extended interview with George Stephanopoulos intended to jumpstart a comeback for the embattled president will last as little as 15 minutes, the Daily Beast learned. The ABC News anchor will travel to Wisconsin Friday to speak with Biden as he conducts two hastily arranged campaign stops in the critical swing states, ABC announced Wednesday night, that parts for the taped interview would be aired first on Friday's edition of World News Tonight, to be followed by an 8 p.m. primetime special, where it would take place of Jeopardy Masters. It will air again in full on this week on Sunday. But the Daily Beast has learned that behind the scenes, there is a deep concern inside the ABC News' upper echelon that Stephanopoulos could get as little as 15 minutes to conduct what should be a searching interview offering insight into the president's mental state. ABC News earlier declined to comment on the length of the interview. The Biden campaign denied the suggestion when questioned by the Daily Beast. While a White House spokesperson said it was false, the interview will be longer. I love this, it just says false, the interview will be longer. Well, how long? What are you guys actually planning? What are you preparing for? Silence, it's just false, it'll be a longer. I'm really, I question whether or not it's even going to happen. Is it going to be so awful that they scrap it? Is he going to end up having some type of medical issue and he's not going to be there? Let's continue. While there is no agreement between ABC News and the White House on exactly how long Biden spends with the veteran interviewer, there's no actual agreement, it says, which I don't believe. The logistics of conducting it during campaign stops could limit it severely. Senior network figures were involved in calls Wednesday to prepare questions for the shortest time in case attempts to speak with the president for longer failed. One source suggested it would be more in the range of 20 minutes, still a relatively short period of time for even an accomplished interviewer to cover questions both over Biden's cognitive state and his ability to stay in the campaign. This is gonna be a crap show. Guys, just so you know, I want to be, if I can, I'm gonna stream the interview or at least I'm gonna cover it in detail. So make sure and stay here for this because I wanna go over every single nuance. And it's also interesting if you guys have been watching to see the media completely flip on him both sides. So to me, I'm wondering, is ABC still going to come at this pro Biden or does Biden's team know that at this point, the media, the, these are sharks out here, guys and they smell blood in the water. And I'm wondering if they realize that instead of being on his side, they're gonna to wanna to get some really good gotcha moments and this is gonna desecrate him. ABC executives hope that Biden, long known for his loquaciousness, will simply give them more time once they are on the ground. They are likely to be calculating that it is in Biden's interest to show he is sharp, alert, and able to deal with questions and therefore he will be able to keep the interview going. The length of the interview itself will be closely watched by those wondering about Biden's state, while its depth and substance will be a critical test for the president. He told donors Wednesday that he was clear-eyed and in the race to win despite mounting calls for him to quit. The brief nature of the interview came despite reports included by the Associated Press, describing it as an extended encounter between the two men. Biden had conducted few in-depth interviews even before last Thursday's disastrous debate, 
I wonder why. Is it because they're trying to cover up for the fact that he can't really do these anymore? The Associated Press reported that he has given 36 news conferences since taking office, fewer than any since Ronald Reagan at the same time point in his presidency. Martha Joint Kumar, director of the White House Transition Project, told the AP that Biden has conducted 128 interviews. At the same point in the presidencies, Donald Trump had done 369 and Barack Obama 497. Good luck. That doesn't even come close, guys. Granted, like, we know Barack is a talker and was very charismatic, but let's be honest, Donald Trump is too. Donald Trump's a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. It's all about the sign of communication. No matter if you like them or not, they're very charismatic men. Biden doesn't really have the same charisma and now seems like he can barely talk at all. On Tuesday, as the White House agreed with ABC News that it would offer an interview, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said it was seeking to turn the page on the debate's fallout. At the White House press briefing on Wednesday, Jean-Pierre highlighted the interview along with two interviews with Black-focused radio stations in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, which we'll get into, these are great, as evidence that Biden was accessible for speaking. Without the aid of a teleprompter, but on Wednesday evening, Biden again stuck to the teleprompter as he conducted a White House ceremony to give two Union soldiers posthumous medals of honor. And the fact that he has to keep relying on them in situations where he shouldn't have to is also concerning, guys. It says preparing for tough questions. An interview of as little as 15 or 20 minutes appears unlikely to answer demands from top Democrats that Biden make the case in public for his continued run for a second term. Under normal circumstances, a presidential interview with a major broadcaster of 20 minutes or so would be seen as both normal level of access for the network and a major scoop. This time, however, it is the White House that needs ABC News more than the other way around. That's right. In a widely read political playbook newsletter Wednesday evening, sources close to Biden say the president was preparing for tough questions. The sources also highlighted ABC News' audience reach as the reason to have Stephanopoulos conduct it just a month after a shorter interview with its World News Tonight anchor David Muir in Normandy during the D-Day commemorations. The source told Politico that the White House felt ABC's reporting was the fairest and most consistent in offering context and fact checks. Really? I don't trust any of these major news networks after that horrific debate we saw, guys. But also highlighted that it has the highest ratings of any network or news channel with 9.2 million watching the debate on ABC, according to Nielsen, per The Hollywood Reporter. That number, however, pales in comparison to the total 73 million who watched Biden's stumbling and mumbling performance last Thursday, which created the crisis that the president now faces. I'm living for this, guys. I am absolutely living for this because even though I know this is the state of our country, we should be concerned. On the other hand, this is pure entertainment. This man continues to bring us entertainment, and at least what we can say is, these elections aren't boring. And it's so great because we've been saying for months, even some of us years, that Biden is not there. He is on decline. Things aren't okay. And we've had so much pushback. And now all of a sudden, the veil is being lifted. And that's why I want to tell everybody, when you get concerned, when you get stressed out about what's going on with the country, remember, whatever you want to call the universe, God, source, all of this is in control. And this is all being exposed. So all of us, both sides of the political aisle, we can all wake up and see exactly what's going on. And the whole point of this is not to make us suffer and not to make us worry and not to make things bad, even though it seems like things are ramping up more and more, things are getting harder for the American people and even people around the world, just trying to pay for things and feed your families. This is happening to force us in a state of discomfort to wake us up and it's waking us up so we can create the future that we want, not the future that these evil puppets and puppet masters that are in place are trying to shove down our throats that we all need to be in poverty and be slaves. What do you guys think about this? Do you think we're even gonna get an interview at all? Tell me your thoughts, guys. Sound off in the comments, subscribe, hit that like button. I've got more coming.